Hi booktube, my name is Sarah and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. Uh, this is for week number 47 and it is November the 21st through the 27th. So welcome everybody. Happy Sunday. Today is the 21st. It's about 8 30 in the morning and I'm sitting down here to open up the vlog. I've got my McDonald's coffee. I do have the peppermint creamer in the fridge downstairs but I have to finish off the other one which is the um southern butter pecan which is delicious it's my other it's um is it international it's i don't think it's international delights i can't remember the coffee creamer company that does them but i love them so i'm enjoying that this morning little disappointed on mcdonald's holiday cups this year they're a little boring but you know <laughs> stuff i choose to complain about um <laughs> so Welcome again, everybody. Um, yeah, so I fully acknowledge that last week's vlog was kind of garbage. <laughs> it was literally a glorified weekly reads video. I just put a couple of extra clips in there to try and make it somewhat interesting, but I do hope to do a lot better this week. I thought I'd actually jump on this morning and start off with um, some of the books I'd like to get to this week. So every week at the beginning of the week, like on usually on Saturday afternoons, Saturday nights, because my reading week, if you will, starts on Sundays. It runs Sunday through Saturday. And I sit down and I look at what I have to read and I randomly pick a couple books and I just kind of make a little list and like these are the books I'd like to get to and I actually do it so like it's almost like a to-do list so I have like the check marks so I can mark them off when I get them done. So generally I start with about six books and I'm like okay there's six books I'd like to get to this week. So I thought that I would sit down here at the beginning of this vlog and share with you guys those six books. And then let's see at the end of the week, did I get to all of them? So I thought that that would be kind of fun. Um, no audio on this list right now. I'm just not feeling any audiobooks. I'm just not feeling like listening to an audiobook. I listened to a lot of audio last week, and I've really been in the mood lately to listen to podcasts. So I think that might become my um, work commute listening time will be dedicated to podcasts maybe for the next little while. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. If I choose to pick up any of these on audio, I will. If I don't, I don't. It's not a big deal. But um, here are the books that I want to get to. Now, I did separate them because I always like having more than one book on the go, and usually it's an audio book and then like a digital and or print book. But because I'm not feeling audio this week, I thought, well, let's do a digital book and a print book. So that's what I've done. I've picked three print books because um, I did go to the library. I went to the library yesterday and I got some books that you guys are going to see on my December TBR. But I went to the library last week with my brother and my nephew. My nephew is such a little bookworm. He is so adorable, you guys. Oh my gosh. We go, we go to the library. Sorry, this is a complete side note. So we go to the library and he's he's four. Okay, he's four. But he completely reads on his own. Like he needs help with a few words, but generally he's reading on his own. It's freaking amazing. He was reading a book the one time and I said to my brother, have you read this to him like a bunch of times? Because, you know, sometimes kids will memorize the book. And my brother's like, no, he literally just got that. And I'm like, holy cow. Anyway, he's a little bookworm. So we're at the library and he's got this stack of like eight, <laughs> eight kids picture books. And he looks up at me and he's like, how many are you getting? I said, I have five. He says, oh, I have more than you. <laughs> And then he called this week, or my brother called, and they like to FaceTime with my mom. Um, and uh, so she can see the grandkids. I mean, she sees them quite often, but it's still nice during the week to be able to do that. So he uh, he was saying to mom, he was all excited because Saturday is library day. Every Saturday they go to the library, which fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So they were taking, so he was all excited. This was like on Thursday, like he couldn't stop talking about going to the library on Saturday. And he says, is Auntie Sarah going? <laughs> and my mom says, no, I don't think she's finished her books yet. And he says, oh, I'm a faster reader than she is. <laughs> He's adorable. I'm sorry. He's just adorable. Kids say the darndest things, right, guys? So anyway, all that to say that last week I went to the library and I did get some books out. This is, guys, I don't know. Am I becoming a mood reader? Is this a thing? Because I'm looking now at the TBR that I had, and I think all the books that I'm about to talk with you about, like the six books I have this week, none of them were on my TBR. <laughs> so that's a thing. Um, but no, I, what I found I'm doing, like I did it for December, and again, you guys will see my December TBR in a few weeks or in a week or so, that um, what I did was I did like um, 
like December to be read. So like, right. But what I did is instead of like picking for a challenge or picking for whatever, I literally picked books that I wanted to read, that I was in the mood to read. And I also did that for um, the library books as well. I just kind of went to the library and saw what, you know, catched my fancy, if you will, or caught my fancy, catched my fancy. I need more coffee. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so maybe I am in a way, like maybe I'm a TBR mood reader, if you will. Like, I think I'm starting to fall into the, I'm putting a TBR together, but these are books that I feel like I'm in the mood for right now. That might change throughout the month. Like as the month of December goes on, I might scrap most of what I had to read and just read other things. And that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. I, I, you know, I like having the TBR because I like not having to really think about what I'm going to read next. But if something else jumps up, I will, of course, add it to the TBR. So anyway, I'm rambling. So the three digital books I'd like to get to this week. The first one is the one I am currently reading, and it is Undercover Canine Cowboy by Addison Fox. This is a Harlequin romantic suspense novel. This does not come out till the end of January, you guys. So I have a arc of this one, an e-arc of this one, of course. And there's going to be a video. Will it already have come out? You guys will have already seen the video when this video goes out. Um, because I am part of the a blog tour for the Harlequin um, publicity team. And I decided a lot of people are doing like Instagram posts or blog posts and stuff. So I'm actually doing full videos for each of the different... There's four different um, like themes, if you will. So the first one I'm picking is Investigator, and this is from that grouping. If you've already seen the video, I'm not going to go into it again. So you'll kind of understand what I'm talking about. But essentially, each video, I'm going to highlight six different books that are part of like a theme that Harlequin put together, and they're kind of promoting it that way. So they all the books were sent to me for review. Um, you know, that was, you know, I got the e-arcs of all of them for review, which is great. And I'm trying to get to some of the books before I do the videos. However, I am, of course, just going to be talking about all the books. But I am reading this one right now, and I'm really liking it. Uh, the next one I'd like to get to... <clears throat> is the next in my Babysitter's Club series, and that's Claudia and the Mystery at the Museum, which is, I think, the 11th book in the mystery series from the Babysitter's Club. So I have that one. And then the last one, I was looking again at the seven, I love looking at the seven day loans over on um, the Toronto Public Library, Libby, like the, their digital uh, ebooks, audiobook site, and seeing just what's available. Sometimes I get lucky and get some like fun books to read. So this one I've seen around a couple of times. And I don't remember if I've seen it on booktube or whether it's just something I keep seeing on that seven day loan collection. But it's got a lot of people who are reading it. And this is The Hunted. Hunted. Yeah, H-U-N-T. The Hunted by Roz Ney. So this is a thriller. And it's about two couples who go backpacking, I think. Is there a cat coming in? Yeah, it's Bernard. Two couples who go backpacking and there's a stalker. That's all that I know about it. The cover looks super creepy to me. I'm somebody who doesn't like water. I actually have a fear of deep water. Um, but yeah, this looks really creepy. And it was there on the seven day loan collection. And I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and borrow it and see if we can get through it. So that's also on my digital list for this week. Physically, I have uh, Dim Sum of All Fears by Vivian Chen. You can't see the title because of the uh, the library sticker. However, uh, this is the second book in the A Noodle Shop mystery series, and I am not very far into it. I've literally just started it, so I'm that far into it right now. But I'd like to get a good chunk of this read today. And uh, yeah, it's a fun, cozy mystery series. I will talk about it later in this vlog, I'm sure. The next one that I have, this is one I actually have from NetGalley, but still haven't gotten to it yet. And I saw it on the shelf at the library and I'm like, okay, let's grab a physical copy to read. And that's The Road Trip by Beth O'Leary. So I don't know too much about what this is about. <clears throat> Two exes reach a new level of awkward when forced to take a road trip uh, together in the endearing and humorous novel by the author of the international bestseller, The Flat Share. So I've heard good things about this one. It looks like a lot of fun. I love a good road trip. So yeah, and there's just something about a nice, fun, floppy paperback. That just makes me happy. And the last one. This is another book that I've heard a lot of people on BookTube talk about. But I have never read this author before. And I saw it on the shelf and I was like, ooh, that one looks really good. So, yeah. Those Girls by Chevy Stevens. So I'm going to try this one and see what I think about it. I'm very excited. Um, 
So it says, if you're looking for a riveting mix of survival, redemption, and sheer terror, those girls is not to be missed. That's from Book Reporter. So yeah, this I like the cover on this one. I know there was a different cover for like the hardcover and stuff like that, but I kind of like this cover. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to this. But going to the library recently, because I do like going, it kind of made me start to think about, I'm like, you know what would be fun in January? If I literally didn't do a TBR per se, but like every week, just go to the library and pick like three or four books. And that's what I read that week. Like kind of like do like a let the library pick my TBR in the month of January. That might be fun. That might be kind of fun for the physical books, like for, for, for physical books. Cause I do, I, I do love my e-reader. I mean, I just got the new Kindle paper white. Don't get me wrong. I love, love, love my e-readers. However, there is just something about holding a physical book. Is there not you guys? I, I just, I, I really enjoy it. And you know, going to the library is great because I still get that enjoyment of reading a physical book without having a ridiculously crazy, huge library. So anyway, guys, I am rambling at this point. Um, I will let you go. I don't know if I'm going to check in again today, but I will definitely try and check in tomorrow and I'll talk to you then guys. Bye. Morning friends, happy Monday. Today is November the 22nd and it is about 9.30 in the morning. So I am working from home today. Um, <laughs> very excited about that. Um, and yeah, so I just actually filmed a couple of videos. I had meant to do that over the weekend, but I didn't get around to it because of course I was working on Saturday and then yesterday I just needed a lazy day, which is what I did. So I did a lot of reading yesterday, guys. I'm really happy. Um, so I'm just popping on here. I didn't finish anything yesterday, but I thought I would try and get in the habit of popping in every morning just to at least say hi. Um, I did get some other clips yesterday of, um, the storm that we had last night that was taken from my bedroom window. Um, yeah, it was pretty bad last night, like really windy, really rainy. The tree behind, like the tree that's right outside this window here, it, the leaves are still mostly on it. Like almost all the other trees in the neighborhood, they've lost their leaves except for that one tree. So my mom's making a comment to my brother. We might need you to come by to sweep up the back deck because there's just a deck back there. Like there's no grass in the backyard. So um, there's a deck and then the pool, which we haven't opened the pool in a couple of years, but that's beside the point. Um, it's a lot of work and it's very expensive. Um, so mom just couldn't be bothered, which is completely understandable. So those leaves, you know, but it just looked, I was sitting in my room last night watching scrubs as one does and knitting on my sock as one does. And I, um, saw the leaves through the trees and I'm like, Oh, I've got to get some video of this. So that's what I did. And then I think I got video of Presley under the tree. And then last night after dinner, I went down and sat in the basement with my husband. He was watching, I think, Russell Mania on TV. So I had just my tablet out and I was watching booktube. Um, so I was watching Aaron over at the book broad. Um, he has his category journey that he's doing. So I was watching that. It's always delightful to watch those. And uh, yeah, so that was pretty much my, my day yesterday. It was a lot of reading, a lot of relaxing. It was fabulous. So <clears throat> how am I doing on my reading? So I am still reading Undercover Canine Cowboy by um, Addison Fox. Um, and I am almost done this one. I'm about 80% of the way through it. My goal is to finish it today. So even though I'm working from home today, I am hoping to get this maybe done on my lunch break. So yeah, really, really enjoying this one. I will talk more about it when I finish it. And I got a good chunk of the way through um, Dim Sum of All Fears by Vivian Chen, the second book in the Noodle Shop Mystery series. I am enjoying this one very much as well. And again, I will talk more about this one um, when I get it done. I'm hoping in the next few days. So yeah, I am really enjoying having both an ebook and an, and a print book on the go. Again, I thought about it this morning. I'm like, oh, should I grab an audiobook to listen to? And I'm like, nah, just not feeling it. It's cool. So I'm just enjoying these. And yeah, so that's about it, you guys. I even, I actually thought yesterday, I'm like, maybe I'll grab this one on audio and, 
And, and I'm like, no, I am really enjoying the experience of reading an actual physical book. It's something I don't do a lot and I have enough of them. So it's a habit I really, really want to get back into is reading physically as much as I love this. And you guys will have already seen, I did an entire video, my first impressions video on the new Kindle Paperwhite. As much as I love it, um, there's just still something about having a physical book, isn't there, you guys? So anyway, that's it. Just a very quick little clip just to check in. And I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Today is November the 23rd and it is just after nine in the morning. I am rushing, sort of. <laughs> I have a few minutes to sit and talk with you guys, but I am trying to get out the door a little bit earlier this morning. I have to stop for gas, which I hate doing. It's my most hated thing about being a driver is stopping for gas. <laughs> I don't know why, especially when it's currently minus two degrees Celsius outside. And I just realized I forgot to put on socks. Fully dressed for work except for socks. So I might have to go do that. I think I have a new pair over here. I'll put those on. So anyway, um, yeah, so I'm trying to get out a little bit early today because I have to stop for gas. And also we have a new co-worker starting today, which is super exciting. So I can see the glare in my glasses. Sorry about that, you guys. So anyway, um, I want to get there a little bit early just so I can say hi and all that stuff. And that glare is starting to drive me crazy. So let's do this. So yeah, so that is pretty much um, what's kind of going on here. The last few days have been busy, so I apologize for not getting little clips done for you guys. Um, I guarantee, doing my best to guarantee daily clips in December. I am not going to be doing Vlogmas, like I'm not putting out a video a day, but I do kind of have an idea for Vlogmas, and instead I'm just going to intermingle them into these weekly vlogs and just sit down and do a little chat to share with you guys the tea advent calendar that I have and I have a couple another little fun thing that I'm going to be doing kind of vlogs not vlog advent style so we will talk about that next week it's next week you guys is the first is the first week of December can you imagine I just can't believe it anyway November just flies by so anyway eating my hair so I wanted to sit down here very quickly this morning and chat with you because I have finished two books since the last time I talked to you so I didn't want this to suddenly become another overwhelming <laughs> oh my gosh, you know, like, here I am sitting down to talk to you guys about five books. <laughs> so, sorry, one sec. I just wanted to grab this so I could show you what I was going to be currently reading today. So, the first book that I finished, I finished this one on Monday, was Undercover Canine Cowboy by Addison Fox. I gave this book four stars. Thank you very much to NetGalley and to, of course, Harlequin for sending me an e-art copy of this book to read and review. This is book four in the Midnight, Tex Midnight Pass Texas series. Harlequin Romantic Suspense, number 2169. Its publication date is actually February of 2022. I just read a book coming out in 2022. It has an on-sale date of the end of January, but it's listed as a February release. So you can pick it up at your retailer of choice um, at the end of January, but... I think you'll be able to buy it off of the Harlequin website at the beginning of January. So stay tuned for that. I'll, I'll give you guys more of an update. So this one was good. Um, I liked it. It was the story of uh, Arden, Ar Ardeen, I think is how you say her name, and Ryder. And he is an FBI agent and she works on her family's ranch, cattle ranch. And she's also a yoga instructor. She owns her own yoga studio. Um, and they're, they this ranch that they work and live on is like right on the Rio Grande. Is that how you say that? Um, where a lot of drug trafficking comes across from Mexico and, and stuff like that. So they are, Ryder wants to kind of set up like a sting operation on their ranch to try and catch people trying to smuggle things over the border, illegal things over the border. So the family, though, like uh, Arden and her three brothers, who now have wives, like their books were the first three books in the series. They're really standoffish about this for obvious reasons. You know, they have potentially small children. Um, one of the sister-in-laws is pregnant, and they're worried about the family and what impact this might have. But through all of that, of course, you're getting this relationship between our two main characters. And I really liked it. Like I said, I gave it four stars. There is a dog in this book, as you can clearly see from the cover. Um... Uh, Ryder has a canine, um, canine partner and Murphy is the dog's name and Murphy is an absolute delight. I love him in this book. He's so, so cute. 
and he may or may not save the day. So <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. This book was really good. Not as high suspense as I'm not that as I'm used to because I find that the romantic suspense books tend to be a little bit less on the suspense, whereas the intrigues tend to be a bit more suspenseful. So that was good, but this one definitely dealt a lot with the characters' um, issues and, you know, like the thing was in this book, in terms of the relationship, Ryder was all for it. He was like, yeah, I'm here, I, I really like you, like he took her out on dates and things like that, whereas um, she had come out of a very bad relationship years earlier. Something happened. I don't want to get into what that is because you'd, you'll you get that when you read the book. But really good. I liked it. Um, and then the other book I finished last night was Claudia and the Mystery at the Museum by Anna Merton. I gave this book three and a half stars. It's Babysitter's Club Mystery number 11, publication date November of 1993. And this is, of course, a middle grade mystery book. So this one was cute and fun. So essentially, Claudia, there's this new museum that opens up in Stony Brook. Very fancy dancy museum for a small town like Stony Brook. Like it's got all these different rooms and blah, blah, blah. And some big art guy, uh, has a showing there and that's what Claudia really wants to go see is this this guy who does the art um like these sculptures if you will so she t ends up taking a few of the babysitting charges and while she's at the museum these like ancient coins are stolen because of course a small museum in Stony Brook Connecticut <laughs> would have these rare ancient coins <laughs> on display <laughs> just to spend your disbelief for these books you guys they're just fun they're just fun so Claudia and the babysitters, of course, try and find out the who done it, And it was fun. I enjoyed it. I mean, you know, I know a lot of people, um, I mean, these are nostalgic books for all of us who read them back in the day. And that's why I'm rereading them is because of the nostalgia factor for me. And I love them and they're delightful. So I enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun. So what am I currently reading? I am still reading Dim Sum of All Fears by Vivian Chen. I have not finished it yet. I am very close. My goal is to finish this today. I'm hoping to finish this today um, on my lunch break at work and then maybe tonight before bed. So that's my goal. I did not get a lot of reading done on this one yesterday. It was a busy day. Uh, I was working from home, but it was a busy day. So yeah, so that's what I'm um, working on for my print book. My ebook that I am going to be starting today, I haven't started it yet, is one I got from that seven day loans collection from my local library from Libby is The Hunted by Roz Nay. So there's the cover. So this is a thriller and I've seen this one a couple of times and I'm like, ooh, that, I think someone on booktube talked about it. I can't remember. So I'm very, very excited to read this one. Um, I think it's going to be really good. It's about two couples and I think it takes place in South Africa or Africa. I'm probably completely wrong on the geography on that one where this one's taking place, but I will talk more about this one. I'll jump on tomorrow morning again and give you guys an update again because I'm hoping to get this done. So I want to review that for you. But yeah, I will let you know more about this one um, as the next few days go on. It's not a terribly long book. I think it comes in at under 300 pages for the print book edition. So that's it. I got to go and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. So guys, in case you guys are curious, I will show you the socks that I am wearing today. And sorry, yeah, I'm showing you my tree um, just because it was here. But can I just very quickly show you guys this ornament? That's my new favorite ornament. It's actually, it was my dad's. Um, when my mom was putting her tree up a couple weeks ago, she was going through all the decorations that she has. She came across this one. She's like, do you want it? And I said, yes, please. And it actually opens and closes. So isn't that cute? But it's the Coca-Cola polar bear. Dad loved Coca-Cola. Um, you know, so it's just, it's kind of in memory of him and I love it. So yes, yeah, so I've got that. I've got Tigger. This is a Disney one, 2014. I don't know why we bought that. I'm not a Disney person. Oh, like the most Canadian ornament ever, like a beaver. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I kind of love it. Um, oh, and like a little bird at the front. See a little bird? That one's cute, isn't it? I kind of really like that one. I've never really taken a close look at it before and I've got this knitting one. And yeah, a bunch of them. That one's fun. I don't have a ton of ornaments on my tree, but you know, Starbucks, but enough. And I love them. So anyway, back to the socks. <laughs> so here are the socks that I am wearing today to the office. These are hand knits. They are nice and long. Like look how long they are. I like a nice long sock because you got to keep your uh, tootsies warm. Um, in the winter time here, but yeah, so that's that. Okay. Now I got to get to work. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. Today is the 27th of November and it's just before 9am. So I am working today. 
um, from home for about four hours, uh, nine to one today. So that's okay. Um, I did it last Saturday as well, and I really don't mind doing it. I, I get to sit here at home in comfy clothes and <laughs> and answer any emails or chats or anything at all or phone calls that come in. So yeah, so I thought I'd just sit down before I actually get started at work and um, talk to you guys because I haven't talked to you since Wednesday. So I think like I mentioned, we have a new girl in our office and in our department actually. So we were doing a bit of training over the last few days and I did work from the office Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, it wasn't terribly busy on those days, unfortunately. So it makes it more difficult to do training because I'm especially a hands-on kind of person. Like I like to see, like I can run through scenarios and what may or may not happen, but with what it is, with what we do, every single person we talk to is different. Everybody's circumstances and situations, it's different. So it's hard to, you know, if this is the situation, do this. If this, if this is the situation, do that. It's kind of one of those learn as you go kind of an idea. So um, I'm hoping it'll get a little bit busier next week so she can sit with me and do a bit more training. So yeah, and going forward for the rest of December, I am actually going to be in the office. Typically, I, I am very, very privileged and I know that that I get to still work from home a couple of days because there was a joke yesterday because um, I'm gonna have to be in on every Friday in the month of December and uh, me and my coworker, the one who's been I've been working with for a while we kind of made a face at our manager and she says do you guys remember when you used to have to come in the office five days a week <laughs> we said that's so 2019 <laughs> So, you know, I am lucky. I know a lot of people are back to the office full time. So I do get two days at home, which is great. But typically the way it's been is that I go in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I'm home Thursday, Friday. Thursday, Friday tend to be the days that are not as busy. But because of the new girl being with us and uh, our new coworker and training and stuff like that, I actually offered to come in Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then my coworker is in Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So that way there's somebody with her every day. Um, and it's fine because, because I work till seven o'clock at night, my manager said on Fridays, I can leave during my lunch break and come home and then log in from home, which is what I did yesterday. So I was home at four o'clock, like my lunch is from three to four. So I got home at four o'clock and I logged back in and I stayed logged in until seven and I, she, I was available on the phone if she needed me or we have like instant messaging through work and stuff like that. So it was fine. It was fine. So anyway, yeah, so that is that. That's pretty much been what's been going on. Nothing interesting. I haven't gotten, gotten a ton of reading done, but I've gotten some reading done. So I'll share that with you guys in a minute. I did finish a book. Um, so that's the biggest reason, of course, why I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys. And after I'm done work today, the hubby and I are going to do some running around. Um, I want to go over to Michael's Arts and Crafts because they're having a, a Black Friday day, Black Friday day, Black Friday sale um, on like all the things. But I am going for yarn because I have the urge to knit a sweater. I haven't knit a sweater in years and I have an urge to do so. So I want to go see what I can get in terms of yarn uh, for that or wool or whatever you want to call it. And then I have to go to the library because I have to drop off the book that I finished and because I want to drop it off so I don't forget. I have a bag that hangs on my door where I put all my library books when I'm done with them so I know where they all are. But um, I want to drop this off and then I have one to pick up because I put one on hold and <laughs> it's like four days to the end of November and I still have like the book I'm reading, another book out from the library, and the one I'm picking up that I want to finish all of them before the end of the month. So that's not going to happen. So one of them, another one might be going back early as well. Um, but that's okay. I can always borrow it another time. So that's my thought process. Uh, and then we have to go to Walmart to pick up a few things. So it's going to be a little bit of running around this afternoon. What I will do is I will, I'll see how much I can take you guys with me. Um, do a little vlogging. Literally for the library, I'm running in and out. Um, so we shall see, but, um, yeah, and I predict it's going to be busy because the next weekends until Christmas are just going to be a horror show, no matter where you go, groceries, 
Walmart, you know, any retail type store, it's going to be crazy. So let's talk about the book that I finished. Uh, I think I actually finished this on Wednesday. So I finished reading it. You can't see the title because of the sticker from the library, but this is The Dim Sum of All Fears by Vivian Chen. This is the second book in the A Noodle Shop Mystery series published in August of 2018. This is, of course, a cozy mystery. I gave it four and a half stars, you guys. I loved this. Now, that being said, the mystery itself was pretty... I hadn't figured out. You know what I mean? Like, they throw a lot of potential murderers at you. Like, she she throws a lot of people who it could be. But to me, it was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be this person. And I wasn't wrong, right? But even though I had it figured out, if you will, I just love this series. If you are a cozy mystery reader, you need to read this series. There's something just so charming and delightful about it. So the premise of the series is about our main character named Lana Lee, and her parents run a noodle shop in this place called Asia Village. And it's outside of Cleveland, Ohio, and it is a shopping mall catering specifically towards the Asian community. So there are like an Asian bookstore and a hairdresser and, you know, all these things within. So like it's with the cozy mystery, because it does take place in a bigger city, you still have that very small town feel to it because of this small like mall, shopping mall, for lack of a better term, that they work in. So she works at this noodle shop with her parents and at the beginning of the book, uh, so that's kind of the premise of the whole series, is that's the setting, right? So every time there's a murder that takes place. I read the first book, now I've read the second book, and I think I've also read the fifth or sixth book, so I jumped way ahead in the series. There's eight in total out so far, and I'm really looking forward to getting to the rest of them. So anyway, I might have to put the next one, like book three, on my list to read in January. It's my thought process. So anyway... In this book, um, there is a new store next door to the Noodle House, and uh, it's a, a souvenir type shop. And Lana has befriended the woman who works there named Isabel. So it's her and her husband, Brandon, who run this uh, souvenir shop. The beginning of the book, um, Isabel and uh, Brandon are found dead in their store. So then it's a whodunit. One of two, two ex-wives of Brandon uh, come out of the woodwork, there's family drama, there is, you know, some underbelly, you know, potentially borrowing money from a loan shark kind of situation going on as well. So there's kind of a lot of things going on. But like I said, at the end of the day, it's Lana who I adore. And I mean, the mystery was great. Don't get me wrong. The mystery was a lot of fun, but it wasn't one that kept me guessing. Let's put it that way. This was just an enjoyable read. And um, so, yeah, so... I love Lana, uh, her best friend, Megan, who she lives with, like they share an apartment. Her, her friend Megan's just a hoot. She works at a bar called the Zodiac. There is, of course, a romance sort of between Lana and a police detective or a police officer by the name of Adam. And it's it's in its beginning stages in these books. I, I think it, if I remember correctly, later on in the series, of course, they end up starting a relationship. Like, they care about each other, but he worries about her because she always puts herself needlessly in danger, which is the way these co cozy mysteries go, right? So yeah, it's just a fun and charming series. So yeah, so in this one, Lana is left in charge of the noodle house because, or the noodle, sh yeah, the noodle restaurant, because her parents go to Taiwan for an undetermined amount of time to look after her grandmother. So <laughs> she's kind of left in charge. She has an older sister named Anna Mae. And Anna Mae is much more responsible than Lana. Like, she is going to school to become a lawyer and, you know, just the older, more studious, more responsible of the two sisters. And their relationship really, really gives me um, thoughts of, for those of you who read The Babysitter's Club when you were younger, of the relationship between Claudia and Janine. Uh, again, like, they're characters from the Babysitter's Club. Claudia is one of the members of the Babysitter's Club, and she has an older sister named Janine, who's very, very smart, very studious. She takes college-level classes while she's in high school. And, you know, she's very prim, very proper, whereas Claudia is a little bit more outgoing. You know, she wears wild clothes. She, she loves art. And that's the dynamic I really see between Lana and Anna Mae, um, you know? Like, in this book, Anna Mae starts off the book by coming into the restaurant, and she's dyed her hair blue, or put blue streaks in it. You know what I mean? So, and her mom's all upset because she's never going to get a husband looking like that. <laughs> 
So that's what I mean. These are just delightful. Please, please, please give them a shot. Again, if you're a cozy mystery lover or if you're new to cozies, these are really fun. Definitely a place to start off with. So what am I currently reading? Two books on the go. I have an ebook that I'm currently reading. And this one I got um, from, I think I've talked about this one very briefly already. I borrowed this off of the seven day whole list. But for some reason, it came up giving me 21 days, which is a good thing since I haven't gotten a lot of reading done over the last few days. But I'm reading The Hunted by Rosnay. So there's the cover. Of course, eventually when I finish it and review it, I will put the full color cover up. But for now, this just works. Um, reading this on my Kobo because it is from the library. Um, and this one's good, guys. This one is seriously, seriously creepy. Now, I have not read the book You by Caroline Kepnes but I have heard a ridiculous amount about it. At this point, I don't even have to read it because everybody on booktube except for me has read it, but it's about a stalker. Um, and this is the same, th this, from what I've heard about you, this is what I'm like feeling from this book. So it's told in two different perspectives. It's two different couples who end up going to Africa. Um, and they are part of like this eco tour program and that's really all I want to say right now, that there's one of the couple is stalking the other couple or the, the woman from the other couple. And it's told in two different perspectives. Like I said, one from the American couple and then one from the British couple. So yeah, like that's the way it's, I can't say anything because I'm only about 40% of the way through this at this point. So is it 40% that I'm through this already? It's not a terribly long book. It comes in at under 300 pages, 35%, close enough. So I'm at 35% of the way through this. So I really can't say yet. I don't know if there's going to be some sort of a twist or something like that. But the perspective of the British couple, it's the man from the British couple. He seems very stalkerish towards the female of the American couple. So you're getting his perspective and then her perspective, the girl from the American couple. And he seems very stalkerish. Like he immediately meets her and he's like, she's going to be mine. And we have so much in common, just very creepy. You know what I mean? So this one is, I get very creepy vibes on this one. Like the hair on the back of your neck standing up kind of a situation. So I'll update you guys. I would really like to get this done today, but I don't know if that's going to be the case. We shall see. If I do, I will update you guys later today, but um, I'll try and pop on later today regardless, just to give you guys a bit of a reading update. So hopefully I get this one done. We shall see. The other one that I'm currently reading that I don't think I had talked about yet, obviously, because I was still finishing off um, Dim Sum of All Fears, um, is The Road Trip by Beth O'Leary. So I started this one on Thursday, I think, and I'm not terribly far into it. I'm only about 100 pages into it at this point. This is a longer book. Um, this is really fun so far. Again, I don't want to get too, too much into it. I will not get this done today. I guarantee it. I've just got other things, too many other things to, to do. I'm hoping to get it done tomorrow because if I can get this done tomorrow, that leaves me two days to finish the one book that I am going to be picking up from the library. So I'm hopeful, fingers crossed. Um, but this is about two people who were a couple at one point and they are going to a mutual friend's wedding. And because of circumstance, they end up having to road trip to this wedding together. I'm sure a lot of you have read this one. I have not read anything by Beth O'Leary. I know a lot of people read The Flat Share and there was a lot of mixed reviews about it. But this one so far, I'm enjoying it. The reason I'm liking, like, I do love a good road trip romance. However, what I love about this one a little bit more is that there's an extra dynamic in this of three other people are in the car with them in this little mini, like a little, is it an Austin mini or a mini Cooper? You know, one of those little mini cars. So there's five adults traveling from the South of England to Northern Scotland <laughs> for this wedding in this tiny little car. And two of them are a former couple. Um, the other two people, one of them is our, is the female lead sister or half sister. And the other guy is the male lead's best friend. Um, and then the fifth guy, <laughs> I guess that they have a Facebook page for this wedding. And he put a call out saying, I need a ride to the wedding. Can anyone give me a ride? So they, the girls had been driving the mini, right? And they're like, oh yeah, we can drive you. And then circumstance happens. And Dylan and Marcus, which are the two other guys, end up traveling with them as well. So you've got these five people in the car and it just adds that extra layer of delightfulness. <laughs> so, so far I'm really enjoying it. Um, yeah, but I will, again, I will update you guys, um, tonight at some point. 
So anyway, that's it for right now. A bit of a longer clip. Um, like I said, I'll try and take you guys around with me today as much as I possibly can, if I can. And if not, I will check in again in a bit. Bye, guys. Morning friends, happy Sunday. As you can see, we have snow. <laughs> First snowfall of the year. So it is about seven o'clock in the morning. I am heading off to Timmy's. Garrett just cleaned the car for me, but I just wanted to pop on here very quickly to end off this vlog because I didn't do that yesterday. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. And until my next video, everybody, take care and happy reading. Bye.